Welcome back. I miss you guys. I have missed you guys. Okay, um, my name is Freedom Majestic. For those who do not know me, thank you for watching and subscribing. Thank you so much and welcome. I am here to give you five solid reasons why I still love Jesus. I still love the Lord and um, Christianity is not Christianity, not religion, but having a relationship with Jesus is not just talk. It does transform, it does change. It is a real relationship. Okay, so number one, I used to sit down and watch practically everything. <laughs> when I had time on my hands, I will sit and watch until I get tired. I would watch, I would go on the internet and research every, you know, whatever I felt like it. So um, I realized after I started pursuing the Lord, seriously, I realized that I cannot feast my eyes on everything like I used to. I'll give you an example. One day I was sitting down and I was, you know, couch and I put on a very popular, popular television show. And as I sat down to watch it, um, suddenly my eyes were open and I started seeing things coming from the windows through the walls and these are just you know you believe they're angels there is god and there are other beings and these were other beings and so i realized i had to change that channel so um as a when you are in a relationship with the lord there's things that he will give you conviction the holy spirit will give you convictions and you will find yourself having you know a heightened discernment these things that you will not be able to watch and these things that you yes you can watch number two um animals i grew up with a cat <laughs> i did not even realize at that time i was so unconscious of the animals around me and I never really cared about animals and stuff like that. I mean, they're cute from afar um, at the zoo. They are very cute and um, not taking care of them and stuff or touching them. They're, it felt like back then, to me, it felt like yuck, ook, like uh, I couldn't stand it. But now I do have a... Um, I have a leaf in my home. There is a dog. He's called Ace and uh, he's like a family member. <laughs> Sorry, I do know that there are other cultures whereby animals do not live in the house. But uh, yeah, this is where I am now and um, he's like a family member. And I realized that the word of the Lord says, be kind to animals. So be kind to animals and that means all animals be kind to them so i am aware now people who are cruel to animals are like uh no <laughs> that's not cute so i like ace um i have a picture of him on my facebook page um yeah and that's because I love Jesus. <laughs> Number three, generosity. I know every, I believe that everybody um, has helped one person or another. Um, everybody is a giver. Other people are more giving than other people. But okay, so I, of course I used to give when I was a little kid, blah, 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 blah. blah. But as I have grown to know the Lord and love Him, um, you know, sometimes I just decide to take whatever. Okay, I'll give you an example. One time I took all the pennies. Yes, he's barking. If you he can hear him at the background. I decided to take all the pennies that were in my house. 
I collected all of them and I decided to go and look for someone to help. So I drove around the town and I found a person at the corner who was begging for help and I gave her, it was a her, I gave her the money that I had. It was just pennies. So I came back home and I took us out for a walk. And as I was walking outside, going for this walk suddenly there was light literally from heaven i'd never experienced this before um you know there was a light that just it was like a torch just around me and i understood giving to the lord giving to the poor giving to the homeless giving to anyone who needs the help with discernment is a righteous thing to do those are three number four number four number four number four number four yes. number four <laughs> sorry can hear someone outside um, number four number four how I have grown I used to be so like you know like if I get upset I'll be like da -da 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 -da. you did this I remember one time I was so up, upset at a person in at an individual who was um, I was that was dear to me and so I was so 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 upset I literally felt like I was gonna ah, 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 ah. <clears throat> okay so I ran around from where I was and I went to my dorm room. I just went and picked up my Bible and I immediately started reading the Bible. When I flipped through the pages, I was actually reading the Ten Commandments. And as I read the Ten Commandments to the, uh, to the ninth, to the tenth, I literally saw lilies, flowers, white flowers, white lilies, and my heart changed. My heart felt loving, my heart became loving, and the anger that I had just disappeared. So how I react to situations actually changes. It changes, that's a good thing. Number five. see people how I see people is different from the way I used to see people and this is because the Lord says that he loves everyone and that he died for everyone and that he desires for everyone to to know him there is a passion there is a love there is no man who can affect me that the way he has affected me um, it's 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 you cannot put it into words the desire the love when you dance for him when you praise him when you seek him he gives you a love that you've never experienced before it's a passion it's pleasurable it's beautiful it's majestic it's creative um your soul heals from hearts and pains that you've experienced before there is actually a place where in the word of the lord that says in scriptures that says and enoch had sons and his sons did not know the lord and so his sons were worthless and so it does not matter what stature you have, what uh, office you have, where you are. If you do not know the Lord, you need to know the Lord. Alrighty, <laughs> those are five. I encourage you, I'm encouraging you to do what you do, to continue loving him, to continue desiring him, to continue pursuing him, and he will change you. Thank you, and I'll see you back here again.